What's up, guys? How are we doing? I'm doing all right. How about you? Doing okay. pretty well. I'm pretty good. Uh, so I have a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a little while now. It's about um, people's mental health, in specific, more like guys' mental health. Yeah, honestly, I think guys don't get as much representation when it comes to the mental health part. I agree. Like recently, with the rabid feminism, people are like more only looking towards like women and their mental health, and they feel like guys aren't affected as much. Yeah, yeah. it feels like it's yeah, extremely like overshadowed by other topics. Yeah, in society. exactly. And what I've seen personally from like my friend groups and like guys my age is like. Almost all of us are suffering from yeah, something. Yeah, I think ninety-five to like a percent of my guys, like everywhere, just have a, like insane mental health problems. But like, I think we're better at not showing it as much. Yeah, mm. us like what I've seen. If you're a guy and like you don't have like a six-pack, really like nice body. Yeah. Then you're just immediately like have body dysmorphia and feel really bad about your body. Not like that. Maybe like. I think that's uh, like already fifty percent of the fucking the stress and stuff, the yeah. anxiety, and then the other fifty percent is how good you do in school, how you yeah. look to others, like just how oh you yeah. talk to people, your friends. It's L- a split, like it's a split you're, between physical and social life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like all your other like things you want to do in life. That that that's like maybe five. Like the usual things people stress about, like work and school and stuff like that. That doesn't affect us as much, but I think it's probably more than the social part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, uh, like, some of my friends, like, they're just constantly worrying, like, are they looking good or, yeah. like, their hair or anything like that. And, like, I don't know. I th- I think we just have this, like, from social media and such, just seeing, like, really attractive people with, like, six-pack, nice yeah, and hair and all that. Like, you feel like you have to look like that or else you're, like... I don't know, bad, and people will judge you. Yeah, yeah like for example, compelled I c- to look yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Always. I feel I like we have look. much higher standards for women than women. Like women, like when they're trying to like, for example, like date a guy, right? They're gonna look for a much like nicer guy than a guy's gonna look for a woman, in my opinion. Like, like maybe like a five, out, like a guy would date a five out of ten woman, but a woman would only date like a nine out of ten, ten out of ten guy. Yeah, exactly, because it's, it's gotten to the point where some of us have even started self-deprecating ourselves. It's like, I'm not good enough, so I have to settle for this. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And, like, girls just don't think like that, I think. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Girl boss, go as hard as you can. <laughs> I'm sorry. And obviously, this doesn't mean that we're, like, saying girls' mental health isn't a problem yeah, or but anything like, like that. It's more like maybe guys should also be focused it, it's on it. Yeah. It's just an ongoing push and pull. It's, like, maybe in the 1900s or the 20th century, and it's, like, it, it was women who were being like prosecuted uh, like against them prosecuted like yeah <laughs> absolutely but but now is now that the tables have turned women have like insane power like they're like absolutely like destroying me- like when it comes to like how like powerful I mean, they, you they are. regain that power but they yeah. they no, want I don't they think want they regained it i think they've stolen most of like guys power but they want well. more yeah they yeah. just they're greeting for power like the laws not I don't want to say greeting but it's like, it is yeah. greeting because I look mean, at how many laws like been introduced for women like Say for example, a woman rapes a guy. Is has there been a law for that? Huh? Like say there's a woman. WWE the, it's fighter, called like, rape. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. But like it hasn't been specified. When you look at the actual law itself, it's for a woman getting raped by a man. Look, literally, search up the law right now. It's been said like that, and then I think they recently changed it, but it was like that for years. And uh, it, it's crazy because. It, oh my. Yeah, I think that um, I don't know. I think the law is really just help women out like i i don't think it's a bad thing that more laws are in place to no help but it's, it's not it's not looking as like at guys as much we i have suppose no laws it's, like given, it's given a power shift between yeah like people. if you like look, like just look at social media and like especially u.s laws u.s laws are so controversial now because like there's literally nothing protecting a lot of people that's true that's true mm. yeah how, how like how often do you like i think i'm an old man i've spent like hours just thinking about random shit <laughs> in my life do you guys do that like oh, yeah. of, course, yeah, of, of course. course. At night, like right before just I sleep, I'm just, like, just awake for an hour just thinking about random stuff. I mean, I wish I could do that, but yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's cool. Like just stressing yeah. about stuff or just, you know, or thinking of random school or work, what I'm going to do the next day. Just mm. like yeah. You know, I, I was thinking the shower yesterday and, um, well, you know, well, having, like no, nah, I don't remember what I was thinking about. It was just a regular conversation. And then um, the thought came in my mind, something. And then I thought to myself, I agree with Matthew. <laughs> and then <laughs> I I took like a double take. I was like, 
Wait, wait, I, am I, I just I just thought I agree with Matthew when I am Matthew. <laughs> yeah, no, that's totally. It is so sad how the only person you can open up to is yourself. That's yeah, exactly. true. In a sense. But now I have you guys, so thank Aww. you. <laughs> and the yeah, thing yeah. is, within groups of like genuinely just being boys, it's yeah. mostly said as a joke instead of a serious topic. Yeah, yeah, mm. like we just joke around about mental, mental health, health is stuff, mostly joked like, about within. There's no one you like people actually like open up to. Yeah. But 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 when 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 men talk does get like serious, it's like serious to keep serious. But then to it the goes off power. topic, so especially with me. Like I joke around a lot. I think oh, it yeah. goes oh, yeah. it, it derails so fast. It's like, true. It starts <laughs> yeah. serious, then it just yeah. goes into a joke. Yeah, I, I, within two minutes. It's just me or has it become a habit to like steer off of serious. Yeah, because no one wants yeah, to talk about that. that. No one li- actually yeah. wants Steering to talk about Steering off of serious topics. But, just joking but about al- it. that's also that's us problems. doing that to ourselves, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like it's because you don't feel comfortable. I mean So it's about society. It's not about ourselves, it's about how society makes us We're not feeling comfortable. It's that We've reached a point in society that even if you speak, no one's going to be listening after all. Because no, I think I think they are one hundred percent. It's just that, like, what I think I'd listen to you guys, but like, I don't think you'd be comfortable enough to open up to like just me. Like, you don't know me as well. Like, even with like real OG friends, like you only talk about certain like, oh yeah, deep yeah, yeah. stuff. It, it brings but you it, still it brings don't go to that level where yeah. you feel like there's like that one barrier between reaching yeah, speak like that level like, of yeah. trust. Mm. Yeah. Like even siblings, you can't even talk to your siblings about that stuff. Cause like yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, I, if with me and my brothers, that's a, that's a five year age gap. Of course, that's not for everybody. Maybe one in yeah, one or two years. But still, I would I would not talk to my siblings about like my my personal issues. Maybe they could talk. You to talk me, to your but sister. It doesn't, you're in the sister. Really really so, yeah, Seth, do you talk to your sister about stuff? Cause you two are like really really close. No, we just understand each other. Oh okay. No talk stuff. Yeah. What about um, you, man? Matthew? Are you an only child? No, oh, I have an brother? older sister. Oh, you don't you have a brother? No. Oh, older sister. Yeah. Two older sisters. Yeah, you all you have two older three, sisters. Three, right? Oh, three. Wow. Three three You're youngest. Three other, It's literally three extra mothers. It's annoying. It's pain. And you know what? Um, <laughs> what else kind of sucks when someone does like take the courage to open up, and then, like other people don't realize it, so they just make jokes about it. Yeah, like, they just like. Yeah. Or they just down. pass over it mm-hmm. completely, and then they just don't return to the topic again because yeah, that they is well. just been ghosted. And do you guys reflect yeah. on those conversations you have and think about like what you would say afterward what, instead? What would be like better of you to say and stuff? Do you do that? I do that yeah. a lot. A lot. Yeah. Like almost every conversation I yeah, have in the day, I think about it for like another fifteen minutes and after, and I'm like, what did I say wrong? What did I say like, right? Oh my god, I could have did that. It happens so many times. It too. Happens so much, especially with people you don't know. Like first impressions, first impressions, bro. Yeah. I have nightmares about her first impressions. Mm. It's insane. Like people I don't know, and then like especially about how people think of. Like I've started really going because like I've started reflecting about like middle school and elementary and how people started seeing me. Because like so I used to go to TDSB school, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now I'm in a TCDSB school. I'm seeing people I haven't seen for years. Recently, yesterday, I met this guy who I was friends with in kindergarten. His name's Joaquin. I just, I literally remembered his name suddenly. Mm-hmm. He's like just some tall blonde guy. I used to be friends with him in kindergarten. I saw him like literally a couple of days ago. I just recognized him. I have a picture with him in the, car- in the kindergarten. And I was a completely different guy. It's crazy. Like, and I'm just realizing like he thinks of me as someone completely different. Like it's insane. Mm-hmm. Yo. How are yeah. you guys with like social anxiety? Like, oh, you, oh, I'm horrible. Are you, are you like me? scared to talk to new people? See, or? I'm not, sc- I'm not scared, but. I'd say I'm yeah, very social about because of mm-hmm. my anxiety. anxiety. So I talk yeah. as much as I can because of mm-hmm. my anxiety. Not scared, but it's like I'm very precautionate. Yeah. I'm not cautious at all. I say I stupid know. stuff all the time. And that messes up like everything. But, oh, you know. man. Mm-hmm. It's like like, a, I say if I'm... I think... Yeah. I don't think like people would like talk to me as much. Mm-hmm. Like, Because you can, you can say stupid stuff around like people. It, it doesn't really matter, but you know. Um, yeah, I used to have some pretty bad like social anxiety back in like grade 9 and 10. Like, I wasn't able to talk to anybody. Yeah. Like, e- even, like... I mean, that was different. It was COVID, though, right? Even then, like, if someone walked up to me and tried to initiate a conversation, if I just... I, I, I would freeze. I wouldn't be able to, yeah. like, think of anything to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this year, though, you were fine. Like, I walked up to you, started talking to you, and then you were yeah. all right, I guess. I guess I steered the conversation, but yeah, no, you did fine. Okay, well, I, I think my no, I'm all the credit. Of course, I have. <laughs> my social <laughs> interactions have gotten a little better, better recently. Also, because you, you're back with people you know, like Darren and them. Yeah, that, and I don't know. I think I've just matured a bit and realized, you know, people don't care as much as you think oh, they yeah. do about like what you say. Sorry, the re- recording cut out. So where were we? Oh, um, 
I was talking about like social anxiety in grade nine and ten, how like I would just freeze up if everyone tried to talk to me. And I think that like the main problem there was I was just like so scared they would judge me that yeah, I would living just... up to other people's expectations. That is the worst thing mm-hmm. ever because I tried so hard for that in middle school, and then I realized I was literally being used by literally everyone. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like even though most of us think that what we say is cared about what, from other people, I don't think it is. Like people don't care much. Mm. Mm. It's like maybe like it, maybe it lingers in their head for maybe a week, but then it like yeah, it, it always disappears. Like, not, not like I realize I like judge people way too quickly way, like, sometimes. In a way of just like random conversation, like oh I said this, I said that. Like, yeah. Small things that you might think were important is just passing over the other person's head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the problem is, and then there's people that are opposite of that. Like I've recently oh, started yeah, yeah. doing this. I literally ana- like I'm like, not even like kidding. I analyze, analyze people like I'm like looking at people like thinking about like who like should I really be talking to these guys and stuff like that. Like I've started actually like just getting to know people what they do, seeing how they talk. Yeah. But do you really get to know them though? Like, I feel like and then when I talk to them, I know what to expect, I feel like. Mm. Like so that's how I've been able to make friends with like people I don't know at all. Like I just watch them for a bit. And I'm like, "Okay, they seem cool. I'll still go talk to them. If I don't like them, then yeah." I'll still try talking to them. If they're cool after that, then sure, I'll be friends with them, but not really. Mm. Do you guys have any, like, do you think most of your friends are, like, not fake friends, but, like, just temporary friends? Temporary? I mean, you had, like, I, I feel like that's feeling, happened to me yeah. a lot. Because Way too much. From element, the, the shift from elementary to high school, Yeah. it was huge. Like, especially yeah. with COVID, some people nowadays who we used to be best friends in elementary just don't even say Yeah, I feel like I feel like I was both used by a lot of people in middle school and I also used like everyone in middle school that I was friends with. But my elementary school friends I think are different. I think I, I think those guys are like really tight with me. F- funny topic about I haven't like, talked to them uh, in a while but ab- about things such as like best friends is like I've never been able to keep a friend for more than five years because What about Nedrick and Michael then? Huh? The Nedrick and Michael? That's that's since grade nine. It's only what? been yeah. It's a, I've only met them for. You guys seemed so tight. Yeah, I know. I've only met them for two years. Wait, but th- no, you guys were like boys in grade nine. How did you wait? What, how did you guys meet? Huh? This is on in, in class in Discord. Sorry, to, to ba- back to where we were. So I I've never been able to keep a friend for more than five years, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't talked to many of my close friends for a long time ago. Mm-hmm, because. I actually, mean, there's one. Oh, really? I have one friend, but I don't really talk to him, and I'm not going to lie. I don't really like him much. I just talk to him because there's no one else like that I'm still really close with. And like it's because our parents know each other, and we've known each other for a while. We're like pretty similar. But we've also had like our fair share of like fights and arguments. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because in, in my case, uh, for every like maybe three years in elementary school, not, be- not because uh, it was an emergency or anything, but it's like my family moved around in Toronto a lot. So it's like I've been from... Uh, elementary school three years passed and then I've been to another elementary school and then I kept moving I've been in f- I've been in I moved four times I transferred so four how many times. schools have you been in huh uh, uh, three different ones I mean just one time I went back to my old school which was funny but then it's like I never right. talked yeah I, n- I never talked to them since grade mid- middle Wait, of grade you five went, you left your old school and you came back isn't that awkward I know right no, it, it was so, so funny bad. Don't be so yeah, no 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 they, they were they were quite they were quite happy with me coming back they were or they weren't yeah they were we had like two, three people leave, and then like a year and a half passed, and they just. Also, there's came a lot back. of people. What did Joaquin? Joaquin went to your enunciation. Bullock. I don't know what his last name is. Tall blonde. Tall blonde. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he literally. I'm so shocked because I bumped into it. It was crazy. He's in O'Connor now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I talked to him yesterday. He's talking to Billy. I'm like, there's no way. Like, I suddenly recognized him. I don't think this is relevant. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's okay. Wow, well, yeah, guys, we'll that was a really nice conversation about mental health. You know, making friends, all it's that. About our feelings and all that. Yeah. Oh no, I turned into a joke. You we can joked see how it already applies. Exactly. All right. Well, Let thanks for listening, know. guys. Uh, Peace. See you on the next.